Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my son in the faith, Pastor Eric Lemon, and we're just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 137 says, For with God nothing is impossible. Mama Alberta's taking a little break in the action. She'll be with us next week, but I've asked Eric to uh, sit in and uh, join us. And uh, Eric, welcome. Well, thank you. It's yeah. tremendous to be here. <laughs> it's tremendous <laughs> Tuesday, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, uh, Eric works with me. Uh, he's on staff here at Faith Victory Church, and he does he does the media, and uh, among other things, he, he when you're on staff here, it's it's you never know. Other you, duties that's required. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna be doing. Because uh, we're in this building project, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, we got uh, the front closed up and mm -hmm. both sides closed up now and mm -hmm. moving moving right along. So uh, that's a wonderful thing. We're uh, for those of you that may be watching for the very first time, we're teaching out of a book me and Mom Alberta wrote years ago called Awake to Righteousness, and it's about new creation reality. Uh, if you don't discover what has happened to you when you got born again, you're going to have a difficult time uh, in this world. And I'm, you know, as a pastor, I'm around a lot of Christians, not just in my, my church, but in other places where they're struggling. And when I try to uh, tell them about, uh, they need to understand who they are in Christ Jesus, they look at you like, you, you you said some strange doctrine, you know, and uh, the reason they're not being taught uh, because uh, the pastors don't know about it, and uh, you know religion has covered up this powerful truth. So uh, Jesus said, "Except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees." He ain't going to have no part in me. All right, oh, now how are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. them, them people were, you know, seven days a week, you know, uh, reading Scripture and in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. But see, you can have all those works going on for you, but if you don't have this inside, mm -hmm. that reality. So uh, there's a number on the screen, and you'll see it from time to time, uh, our prayer line that's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Faith-filled, spirit-filled people. You know, people have been calling that line. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that prayer starts things, prayer ends things. And so, Eric, I'm glad you're with us uh, this whole week. And, and uh, you know, let's just get into this yes, thing. This is July 28th. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Galatians 2.19 is the scripture for today. It says, I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. This verse puzzled me for quite some time until I understood Father God's righteousness or right standing. Let me explain it the way God showed it to me. When a woman is pregnant, she feeds her baby inside her room through the umbilical cord. Whatever mom eats nourishes the baby. That's why it's crucial for a mother to eat the right foods while pregnant to ensure the baby is being fed properly. When the baby has developed and is born into the world, the umbilical cord has to be cut because the baby will now feed a new way, will be fed a new way, through its mouth. The umbilical cord that supplied the baby's food until birth is no longer the feeding tool. It must be cut off. The law is like the umbilical cord. It feeds a sinner the truth of his sin and need for a savior. After he's born again, the umbilical cord must be cut. So we could say that verse this way. I threw the umbilical cord I'm dead to the umbilical cord that I might live now by live now by the milk and meat of God's word. What once fed and sustained life is no longer the avenue for growth. So awake to righteousness, let God's word feed you daily and realize you have a belly button. <laughs> <laughs> what a powerful okay. truth that is. You know, I remember when the Lord showed me that years ago because I threw the law, I'm dead to the law. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a there's a fine line when we talk about 
the law, the the Big Ten, mm -hmm. the Ten Commandments, uh, those thou shalt nots bring us to the realization that we need a Savior. Right. And that's what that's what uh, Paul is talking about. I through the law. It was through the thou shalt nots right. that uh, I recognized I needed a savior. But once that truth got down inside me, I was birthed. I was born mm -hmm. again. And now that once you're born again through the law, now you got to cut that because you're going to be fed a different way. Mm. And that's, that's the power of uh, the New Testament church. Uh, the Bible says that the law was a schoolmaster. Mm. And it taught us uh, the need for a Savior, but then faith came. Mm. So uh, it's not like, well, here we go. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free mm -hmm. from the law of sin and death. So uh, the law of sin and death brings you to the realization that you got sin and that you wanna, you, you, you're, you're dead to the things of God. You're mm -hmm. dead in your trespasses and sin. But then the life, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made us free from that. Well, what, 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 mm. what, 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 what makes that happen? Well, what happened was, uh, there you are. You got a d divine, uh, not a divine nature. You got a satanic nature. You got a fallen Adamic nature mm. inside here, an old creation, just sinful, whatever. Mm. And depending, you know, somebody say, well, I ain't that bad. But, uh, you know, apart from Jesus, you bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens is uh, somebody teaches you or somebody uh, preaches to you a word or you read the Bible or a friend uh, says something to you or a co-worker, uh, whatever, whatever. Or, or you just got so frustrated and you just cried out, God, if you're out there show me whatever, blah, blah, blah. And just the guilt for, for me, mm -hmm. 16 July, 1988, cocaine run around my brain, volumes in my veins, in the middle of a divorce with my wife. I said, God, I don't need any more of this in my life. I just wanted out. Right. I didn't know how to get out because the drugs weren't, weren't uh, covering it up no mm -hmm. more. And uh, so that recognizing the need for a savior is the law the umbilical cord mm. and there all that starts to develop on the inside of you mm. and then on 16 July 1988 2 30 in the afternoon I cried out to God boom I was born again now I cannot be fed the law over and over again on thou shalt not thou shalt not thou shalt not I've been born again. We got to cut that. But you go to most churches, y'all. That's still all you're oh, hearing yeah. mm -hmm. is the "thou shalt not," and that's why their spiritual maturity is at such a uh, baby level. You know, uh, it says in Hebrews uh, chapter five. It says this right here. It says, "For everyone that uses milk." Yeah is unskillful in the word of righteousness mm. for he is a babe see so babies mm. are always hearing you know well one day when you get to heaven everything will be fine and you know yeah we're all walking through difficult times but it's going to be good after all you know they're, they're never getting into a strong meat mm -hmm. they're never they're never developing uh, into that place of overcoming. So when you got born again, mm -hmm. 
and you came right into a church that was teaching strong meat. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you learn, you know, how to digest at your level. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the that's the beauty of you know how, it, you know, you teach it for. You got people all different spiritual levels, you know, but you teach the word at a level for those that are more mature. But even if you're still on milk and you're, you know, you're learning, because babies, you know, babies, sometimes you'll have a, a, a table meal and you have something on there that's a little bit too tough to them. So mama mm -hmm. will break it down and chew mm -hmm. it up and then hand it to mm -hmm. them or whatever mm -hmm. to the level of where they can, you know, receive it. But, you know, I can't, I, I can't imagine, you know, you, you had a couple of years more than again without understanding righteousness. Yeah, man. I, I don't know what that's like. You yeah. Know, I can't I can't imagine um, being a Christian not knowing it, you know. Well, that's why we have our new creation class here. Mm -hmm. Because so many people uh, come in and there's these certain topics that it may be two or three years before... I ever come around as a pastor teaching that subject that I know is vitally important uh, to somebody getting off on the right foot. Right. You know, and, and certainly, how many Christians know 2 Corinthians 5, 17? If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Mainline denominational, and they got T-shirts made out of it. You know, they, they got their banners and, you know, they got bumper stickers and everything else, but they don't know that they don't they don't understand really new creation reality. You cannot understand your born again life apart from being made righteous. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about being made righteous, we're talking about being in front of God, standing right. Mm -hmm. 16 July, 1988. As a sinner, I'm standing in front of God wrong. I'm in wrong standing. But when I cried out to the Lord and he heard my cry and I was born again, the next moment I'm standing in front of him right. right. But I don't know that. I know something happened in here. I know that I was delivered mm -hmm. from drugs and alcohol like, yeah. and from hatred of my wife. But I didn't know that I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If somebody told me that, I'd, I'd probably hit him. <laughs> no, there's an unrighteous but right. God, you know, and all that, because yeah. I was raised that way. See, the value of this, though, is that, you know, when somebody is a Christian, you know, trying to live right by, you know, keeping the law in front of them, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. so they know what they're not supposed to do, so they're trying to do that way. Mm -hmm. It's no different from a baby, you know, the baby's separated now from the umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't draw nourishment and strength to, you know, live and sustain that life mm -hmm. no longer from that source. So, you know, as a Christian, you know, we trying to if you're trying to live right by the law, you're going to fall short every time. There's, you know, there's no sustenance. There's nothing there. You're yeah. trying to draw from a, a source that's not designed to sustain your life no more. Well, it's designed to show sin. Mm. It's not designed to show uh, your new identity, mm. that you're righteous. And uh, when you're learning righteousness, you, you know, you're going you're gonna to make mistakes. Absolutely. You know, uh, I've repented a couple times since I've been <laughs> saved. <laughs> Repentance is right. a gift, yeah. you know. I thank God for that. Uh, but when you and I uh, start walking in the... Where is that? That's in Romans 13. Yeah, this is a beautiful uh, I'm going to find this. This is just it says here Romans 13 verse 8 Owe no man anything mm. But to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. That's one of the big tens. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Another one. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. 
thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Mm. Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy Destroy, destroy the law. Mm -hmm. I come to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. And uh, how he fulfilled it, he walked up to the Big Ten. He's the only one that could say, I kept that one, I kept mm -hmm. that one, all the way down through there. I kept every one of them, and he fulfilled it. Mm -hmm. So when you and I and, and anybody that is born again accepts the truth of righteousness, we have the power now through the love that's been birthed in our new creation to, I've kept that one, I've kept that one, I've kept that one. Mm. Isn't that that's powerful? Awesome. Very, yeah. See? And, but before the love came, you could sit there and be a good person all you want to. You could be an outstanding honor this, you know, uh, service member, an honor graduate, and, and just uh, held up high in, in, in esteem in the community mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, and still not have that love. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And, and that, that love is agape. And the only way you get agape love in here is by being born again. Mm. The f righteousness, the fruit of the Spirit, love, agape. And so... Uh, with philio, that's another Greek word, philio, and eros is another uh, Greek word. That's uh, philio is brotherly love. Eros is the erotic right. kind of love. But agape is the kind of God love that uh, gives you the uh, equipment. Mm on the inside of your spirit to be victorious and feed you mm. in a whole new dimension from the love of God now. The love of God is feeding you. God loves me. God made me just like himself. Mm. God, I'm his child. And uh, his love is shed abroad in my heart. And, uh, you know, whenever uh, I feel like, where are you, God? Uh, I just have to think about how much he loves me. And, 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 and that's now, that's what's, that's what's feeding you. Isn't yeah. that powerful? Yeah. No, I was just saying that I'm, th I'm seeing, you know, like spiritual organs, you know. Mm. Our di digestive system in the natural realm is designed to, you know, take what you put in it and break it down. Mm -hmm. nourish your body, give it, send it to where it needs to go, you know, mm -hmm. to give you that strength and energy to, to sustain life. And uh, if you f eat something that your body doesn't like, it rejects it. Yeah. I mean, your body will straight yeah. up reject it. Right away. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, spiritually, you know, we, if you're feeding, um, you know, hellfire brimstone, you're mm -hmm. feeding on, you know, stuff that's tearing you down, beating you, your spirit, the real you, the righteousness of God is... Rejecting it, whether your soul knows it or not. That's right. You know, and you're trying to digest something that your body's saying, no, I, don't, I, I, I can't. I mean, your spirit's saying, I, that's, that's not for me. I can't. And the, it, and the only way you can accept that kind of doctrine mm. is to have a perverted view of God. Mm. He, you know, he's this angry God. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, he, he's, he's, he's just, uh, you, you better be glad that, you know, you, you even got breath air to breathe today mm. and you know that kind of mess right. instead of a loving father right right you know when the prodigal son came home mm -hmm. and uh his father saw him coming he said get that robe out get that robe out you know and that that always uh you know i, I can remember several times where i've been out running and and uh, you know uh, you know, the apartment that I was in was, was no longer could stay there, and 
the last place I wanted to go was home, you know, because I'm out on my own, and, and, but I'm just a drunk, drug mess. And boy, I tell you what, I'd go home, and Mama would see me come through that door, and she, she, never, she never said, where, where you been? Mm -hmm. She'd sit there and put a meal on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm, I haven't eaten, you know, probably, uh, in a, well, a home-cooked meal for sure, in, in weeks, you know, and, and then, you know, just go upstairs and just uh, go down in the hall to my bedroom, you know, and open it up, and the bed's all made up, mm. you know, and just fall in bed and sleep for two or three days. Mm you know, and get up, and she never say nothing, you know. And, she and, loved you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, with the love of the Father, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about, I threw the law, I'm dead to the mm -hmm. law. And what do we feed on now is we feed on uh, the new creation reality. The new creation reality is God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to take all of the curse mm -hmm. that is would ever exist on himself, and in return, he would uh, offer to us the blessed life. And instead of the thou shalt nots, once we acknowledge, well, I broke that, I broke that, I broke that, I need what he did. Mm -hmm. And I accept that, now that umbilical cord is cut, and now God's gonna feed me by his love. And one of, one of the ways is you put on that righteousness. Mm -hmm. Put it on. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't feel the worthy of it. I, 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 I get that. Right. I get that. You know, I remember uh, there was a little uh, Marshallese kid that we almost adopted out there. His name, mm. his name was Benjamin. Mm. And uh, I remember the first time uh, we got him some clothes, and he never he never had a shower. No never, had, never had a no, shower. No. Didn't know, didn't didn't know, you know? And you know, so I showed him how to take a shower. He he was he was like freaking out on it, right? Mm. And then you know he come out of the shower, I dried his head, you know, and and. Uh, Put them new clothes on and put some goop in his hair, mm -hmm. right? Well, he looked at he looked at himself in the mirror, you know, and, and he could he, he he didn't know how to accept that. And and you know he go out he go out of our place he come back and he looked like he did before off the street, because he mm -hmm. could he, he couldn't he didn't know how to uh, identify that mm -hmm. with that right. But my Ma, Mama Alberta kept working with him and finally he got to where you know hey. <laughs> it's like no fever shot. You know, he, yeah. he, he didn't know how to sit at the king's table. Right. You know, he said, I'm a dead dog. Who am I? You know, I'm not worthy of it. Yeah. And, and, and all this is provided. Yeah. All this is provided for us if, but, you know, he prepares a table before us mm. in the presence of our enemies. And, and we got to pull up to the table and, and sit there and say, wait a minute, pass the love, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, ne I need a big dose of God's that. love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need. I don't need to hear the thou shalt nots. Right. I need to hear the thou shalt. Mm -hmm. And and now the thou shalt nots are they're, they're there mm -hmm. to bring people into the kingdom. You know we're not denying that. The but the law, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, had made mm -hmm. us free, free. Mm -hmm. from the law of sin and death. Eric, I want you to share about that CD again, right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my uh, CDs here. It's called Whole Heart. Pastor Phillips on this one. You on this <laughs> Is that the revival this, thing? This is the one where where uh get there. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need to get that C D <laughs> <laughs> featuring Dr. Philip Durbin on this one. <laughs> but yes, yeah, uh it's rap and um uh, one of my uh most requested songs up up and away is on this one. Okay. Um it was one I did, you know, it talks about, you know, the times that we living in and and how God's got to gonna take us from faith to faith, strength to strength, from glory to glory, and we ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's 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 good stuff. 
So you you can, you can go to to what j dash air dot com uh -huh. mm -hmm. and order that CD. Get it. You might you might not care for rap. I've been converted. I've been converted, and I got that in my Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> got the top down. <laughs> That's what I like to see. <laughs> oh my! But uh, you might have a child. Uh, a teenager or something that likes it. I, you know, we do concerts together. He's in my band, and I've watched God use him mightily uh, in the rapping arena, if you allow it. Our prayer line is there for you at the bottom of the screen, and uh, those prayer counselors are there uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you desire a copy of Awake to Righteousness, our announcer, which is Eric, <laughs> will tell you how to receive your own copy, and you can uh, follow along, and plus, on Saturday and Sunday, you can have it there yourself. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there, there is power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness, with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.